After hydrogen and helium, lithium is the atom with the lowest atomic number, yet it's also a solid at room temperature. And this low atomic number means that lithium is the least dense solid element. It's also the lightest metal. However, these properties are just some of the rather curious aspects of this element. And lithium is an alkaline metal, along with others like um, sodium and potassium. They share some common properties that they're soft, highly reactive metals and readily lose the outer electron on the outer shell. As a result, they become cations and are positively charged. But the highly reactive nature of lithium is a problem, since we react with water and even nitrogen, so creating pure lithium and stopping it from reacting with other elements and compounds is somewhat difficult. Lithium can be used in ceramics and other industrial processes. However, it's probably most widely known for its use in batteries and also in medication. Because lithium has a very low atomic weight, the power to weight ratio of lithium-based batteries is greater than all other standard battery configurations, with lithium sulfur batteries likely to become the eventual high standard performance battery. Like most rechargeable batteries, each time the battery is depleted then recharged, chemical changes take place at the electrodes, it gradually means over time the battery can hold less and less charge each time. This loss of charge can be eased if the battery is kept cool, of course it's exacerbated if it comes hot. Additionally, if batteries are charged too quickly, or even additionally drained too quickly, again this will shorten the life of the battery. However, using lithium in an electronic device comes with a substantial drawback, and that's the risk of fire. And modern electrical equipment has taken advantage of the lightness of lithium batteries become smaller and smaller and smaller. As a result, the wanting the battery in turn becomes smaller and more compact, and this is where the problem lies. In a small battery, the distance between the positive and negative poles of the battery is reduced. Over such a short distance, lithium can form a connector off from one pole to another, causing basically a short circuit, something which is all, all more likely the battery is recharged below 0 degrees centigrade. This short circuit can cause the battery then to overheat, and either the battery directly catches fire, or alternatively it ignites the electronic device it's actually connected to. Increasing distance between the poles and not recharging at too cool a temperature and also higher standards of manufacture are likely to minimise the risks posed by lithium batteries. However, it's always likely to be a trade-off of convenience and flexibility versus safety. Lithium is also present in small amounts in all plants and animals in the environment. Animals which have decreased amounts of lithium in their systems actually have a shorter life expectancy those with normal levels, though the precise mechanism for this reduction in life expectancy has not actually been discovered. What is known is that lithium has an important function in brain chemistry, with increasing levels of lithium creates increased levels of serotonin and reduced levels of norepinephrine. However, there are a great many other processes which are also affected, we don't know precisely how everything works. So whilst lithium salts have health benefits for things like manic depressive, those with bipolar disorder, additional lithium should not be taken except under orders by a doctor, since side effects of additional lithium can be anything from increased urination to the shakes to diabetes and lithium toxicity. So we have lithium, a rather interesting and useful metal, which is also light enough to float on almost any liquid.